Hi guys, just wanted to give you my quick recommendation on the Neutrogena Man Triple Protect Face Lotion with Sunscreen, Sun Protection Factor 20. So I wanted to just give you my personal experience, mean personal uh, recommendation, uh, how it worked for me, how good, how easy, how, uh, how it smelled and so on and what are the facts actually behind the ingredients so it's pretty cheap you find it everywhere six seven dollars fifty milliliters yeah it's not much but uh, yeah you actually don't need a lot it's a very thick cream so i have it here on this quick video that's my bottle which i'm using since a couple of months and my experience is actually that the cream is really thick it's rich it you don't need a lot i mean usually i put some water uh, onto my face and after only after that i use it so i wanted to use it actually on a daily basis daily face moisturizer and actually not as a sunscreen you can see it's a little bit greasy when you use a lot when you use it concentrated yeah when when you use it with a little bit of water and uh, dilute it uh, then it's no problem at all and uh, anyway it will go into the skin uh, pretty fast if you don't use a lot and yeah you won't uh, feel really greasy but of course if you really use a lot it will feel greasy the bottle itself is really convenient easy to open easy to close it doesn't have a really good stand so you can flip over pretty easily but uh, if you have it like uh, any good in a good place it should be still safe it's not very fragile or so it's uh, i would say uh, about average easy to open easy to take everything out and use and uh, not not causing huge mess so that's good so it has a really strong smell it's not only rich and thick it has a really really strong smell some people like it some people don't like it for some people it may be too harsh uh, i've seen uh, some videos about that or reviews i've seen some reviews about that that people don't like it because it's too strong i think it really smells like a sunscreen it doesn't smell like a daily face moisturizer even when it says yeah it uh, is good for uh, to soothe like razor irritation and so on so i think it's actually too strong uh, to use it as a daily moisturizer my experience with that when i had it on my face it didn't feel really sticky greasy especially with a little bit of water uh, diluted so i i didn't sweat over day sometimes with other uh, face uh, moisturizers i was starting to sweating so not with this uh, one so good so far and it didn't cause me any irritation no inflammations no irritations no nothing i have pretty sensitive skin and it worked pretty well but what are the ingredients here yeah regarding the ingredients it doesn't look very good so we have the formula of 2017 but as far as i've been able to see it's pretty much the same but that, what do we have inside all the things do not have really big risk for cancer and reproductivity toxicity aller allergies yeah aller allergies it's not really good regarding allergy allergies and regarding use restrictions so what do we have in fact we have two ingredients with a score of uh, seven or eight which is definitely not good we have the oxybenzone which is part of the sunscreen and we have the uh, fragrance inside you can see the concerns so yeah fragrance is really strong and we have a seven which could be a problem for some sensitive people and the definitely the oxybenzone what's the oxybenzone that's a strong chemical uh, sunscreen the problem is it goes deep into your skin into your body it can change your hormones and not only your own hormones it can also negatively affect wildlife when you go into the water like snorkeling swimming and so on they say per year 
14,000 tons of sunscreen are dumped into the water or even into coral reef i mean not poured into that just being washed off from the skin and that's not good and one of the or like these are two bad things one is the oxybenzone and that's the other one and the oxybenzone that's one of the ingredients here in this neutrogena as we can see yeah that's one of the bad guys here uh, the octocrylene is to make it waterproof and also the homosalate it can have some impact they say that it can have some impact on hormones which you yeah that's something which you don't want to put uh, on your skin on a daily base so for me yeah on a daily base i wouldn't suggest to use it but how is it as a sunscreen like face sunscreen it doesn't say anything about waterproof that's really strange here when we go to details and facts and everything uh, it doesn't say anything about if it's waterproof the only thing what they say here on neutrogena that's their website use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating yeah okay we you, we know that but the question is this thing here waterproof or water resistant so the thing is we cannot use the word waterproof anymore there was a new regulation from fda they banned this expression but we can still use water resistant but is it water resistant yeah i'll ask neutrogena and got after a couple of emails back and forth it took quite some time to get something out of them and after that uh, yeah finally they confirmed that it is water resistant and of course yeah it's because of the octocrylene which is inside so usually if you find octocrylene as part of the sunscreen you can be almost sure that it's water resistant so if you really need a uh, face sunscreen on a daily basis, I mean, you really are outside, you need it. Yeah, maybe that could be still something for you. I mean, there are the chemical sunscreens and we know there are also the mineral sunscreens. I would be really happy to recommend something to you. I mean, we know uh, that's the Amazon choice and we have a lot of good re uh, reviews here. Not many one star reviews, but still uh, some people are a little bit complaining about that. We know there are some disadvantages with mineral sunscreens. Uh, they are usually they tend to make your face looking really white and they tend to really wear off after a short time uh, especially when you're doing something at the beach you're active and then you touch it and then uh, the sunscreen is off and doesn't protect you anymore so for me i mean personally i'm staying at the moment with the chemical sunscreens but i'm not using them every day if you have to use them every day you have to decide on your own i will anyway put down the link to this one which seems to be a really good one into the description so you can check it out or it right from there if you like it and that's actually it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments or especially if you have a better solution than that just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about your things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time